dude. Thanks for having me here, man. Absolutely, man. Let's make some coffee. Let's make some coffee. Yeah, make some coffee. All right. So I brought this mocha pot over, and a mocha pot is, you know, Uh stovetop, espresso. Um, What's kind of fun about these is that without a big expensive machine, Uh you can make true actual espresso is brewed with pressure because the thing that makes espresso espresso mm-hmm. is that it's brewed under pressure oh wow so like you know whether it's a a big giant batch brewer at a cafe mm-hmm. or a pour over or a countertop coffee wow. maker all those are there's no pressure oh. it's just gravity okay you're putting hot water over a bed of grounds Wow. And the and this move through. Or even a French press. Okay. No pressure. It's just sitting there. It's steeping. And okay. This is why yeah. you go to a cafe or you know, you see people with these really nice espresso machines. Mm-hmm. That the whole thing is built around giving the correct amount of pressure and mm. the correct profile of like how so it's all about pressure and having quality parts and quality thing to make uh-huh this to make good espresso amazing so what's cool about these which you can buy these online i'm gonna you'd you'd mentioned that this was from a different country yes this is um we we had lived in lithuania okay Okay. eastern europe okay um we have a thing over there yeah and uh a friend of mine Uh artsyom Shout out to Artyom, man. Uh, Artyom Basaraba. And this was his. And this came from Belarus. It's fun to show it to new people. Because it's a really great way of of brewing coffee. When when I started using this, uh, I didn't understand that I'm brewing espresso. And that you take it and you pour it into a cup. And then you pour water on top to make an Americano. Because so Uh, Americanos are where you... Are you take espresso, which is super concentrated, really strong coffee, okay. and you pour water on top, open it up, and it comes from like over in Europe. Mm-hmm. Americans would show up and would like a cup of coffee, like what you and I mm-hmm. drink every morning. Mm-hmm. And all they would have in Italy is these just espresso shots. Uh-huh. And the Americans are like, Do you have? So they say, Call it Americano. So they take the espresso, Got add it. the water on top, the Americano. Wow. Be, right? So that's what we're going to brew here. We'll brew... Americanos. We're going to make Americanos. We're going to make full-on espresso. Well, when I started drinking this, mm. I thought I'm just... This is brewed coffee. I'm drinking it like... It's yeah. It's a regular cup of coffee. And it's, it's like just drinking eight ounces of espresso. Uh-huh. <laughs> pretty... Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Don't do yeah. that. Yeah. Don't do that. You but might not sleep the next no, couple, couple of days. All, yeah. You'll be set awesome. for two days. So they actually have them uh, measured out where you fill this up with water and you fill this up with grounds. And okay. this is the correct ratio. Because that's oh, wow. always like such a big part of mm-hmm. brewing coffee. Amazing. You want to be sure your ratios are right. Your grind is the one thing that you have. How coarse or how fine. That's okay. the one thing you got okay. to be able to like make your adjustments Wow. to... Yep. How it tastes. To how you want it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, amazing. Looks like you got some pink wall coffee here. Uh, right? You know, I know. Do you know somebody that offers that? <laughs> yeah. I, that, that's the best I coffee hear- I, that I know. Do you know somebody? <laughs> yeah. So, we got Burundi, Muyinga, and we've got some Brazil. Burundi's like my favorite, but this you, you do method- You do whatever. I am good coffee <laughs> from Eric. I'll take it. You'll take it. Yeah. All right. So let's use this bag of Brazil. Okay. And uh, so it's a 400 roast temp. Okay. So lower temp roast. I'm going to fill up our little porta filter with, with beans. And then we're going to just add a little bit extra because I want to I want to look at the grind. The one thing you don't want to do with these is you don't want to have it be too fine. Okay. That's good. Ooh. That is good. Good. Let's try this grind. Let's just try it. I, I, okay. It looks pretty good. Oh, smell that. That's the. Mmm. <laughs> that's coffee right there. Yeah, come on now. Too. Come on now. You gotta get it going. <laughs> so. I'm gonna warm, get the water going. Get the water going. Mm-hmm. So, there we go. I'm just gonna. Mm. I'm not gonna really pack it or do anything crazy. We'll just leave mm. just like this. Okay. Just gonna fill that up. 
So we got that thing full and we're just gonna push this down in there. And now we got our top. And I'm just gonna set it right down here on the burner. So what's kind of cool about these is they have this valve here. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> let's say you really packed that coffee in tight mm -hmm. or you had it ground super fine. Mm -hmm. And that lower chamber is boiling mm -hmm. and it's trying to push up through the ground and it's having a hard time. Yeah. It will, it will go out this side valve. So if there's too much pressure building in yeah. here, it will go, it'll okay. shoot out steam out the side oh. instead of going through the coffee, which okay. would tell you, Something's not make it I'm... more, next time you do this, have it be more coarse. Okay. It's too fine. It Makes can't, sense. The water okay. can't get through. Well, you're, I'm trying to... Here, let me see this thermostat you got in your hand there. Let me see that. Yeah, look at that. Look at well. that. Look at that. Thermos. Here you oh, go, check it out. Look at that. Perfect. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. It's ready. It's coffee time. Right wow. Now. Anyway, I gotta grab my favorite cup. That is right there. Look at that. You know. Perfect. Okay. Mm. Well, should we pour let's put them here? We'll pour out some. Yeah. Get some of this good stuff going. Wow. Now mm. we'll just add some hot water. A little hot water. Mm-hmm. Top me to the top. To the top. To the top. Uh, should we go get some, take a drink? Yep. Go outside? Let's go outside. All right. Man, this is awesome. Mm. The thing I love about uh -huh. the Brazil is yep. it's so buttery and smooth. Wow, Eric. Perfect, man. A good Perfect. cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, with a good right? friend. Yeah, with a good friend. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Plink. Plink before you drink. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Do I feel like we've been having coffee together mm -hmm. and conversations for a long time? That's right. You're always such an encouraging wow. person and like wow. always pushing me on to like keep going, mm. keep chasing after it, keep working mm. hard. And that encouragement over the years has gone a really long way. Mm -hmm. Like truthfully, like yeah. it really has yeah. it's meant a lot. And, Thank you. Uh, the other day I'm sitting there chatting with Ruth mm -hmm. and we're talking about like business people mm -hmm. and <clears throat> talking about sort of like the environment. One thing that I've been like really encouraged by lately is as things have gotten more difficult, mm -hmm. the stuff has become more challenging because of inflation, mm -hmm. because of markets, because of this and that. I have been so encouraged because I see people mm -hmm. who are picking Mm -hmm. In the moment of distress, mm -hmm. in the moment of trial, mm -hmm. I see him pick the hard course, yes, That's the right. right thing, the, right the thing. good thing. That's right. And I was like mm -hmm. making this whole, you know, mm -hmm. I was preaching a sermon about this. All right? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so, preaching it to yourself. Yeah, so, yep. Uh -huh. So she's like, she's like, who, what are you, who, give me an example. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. three I had three examples right off the top of my head from what had just wow. occurred that day, but mm. you were number one. You had came in earlier that day. Wow. And we were talking about this very thing, and you are somebody who I see over and over mm. who you choose to take care of people. That's right. That's you choose right. to have quality. You choose to mm -hmm. value your clients. Mm -hmm. You're in real estate. That's right. So you're taking care of households. You're taking care right. of couples. You're taking care right. of individuals. Okay. And you're connecting people and you're one of these people I get to hold up and hold on to and say, like, there are these Romeos out there. There are these. Yep. Yeah. Yep. There are the people yep. out there who are choosing yep. to do the right thing and yep. to do the good work. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. No, I agree. hundred. Well, no, Eric, thank you for that. That was so good to hear. Even it's encouraging to me, but also, I mean, back to you. I mean, I think your story is always encouraging to me. You mm -hmm. know, even when I talk to you. Yeah. I'm like, man. Do I really believe that myself? <laughs> you know, because I see the guy doing it. Remember, mm -hmm. Eric, remember when you switched from duos yes. to think well? Yes. I remember that last guy oh, get, getting together yes. at that duo store. Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, man, he's so good at what he does. But man, mm -hmm. the road is going to be difficult. Yeah. But boy, watching you from then, 
not knowing what was happening, yeah, operating yeah. from your house. Yeah. From I'd come the, to a house to buy yeah, some coffee. Yeah, you would always show up because we had built that little <laughs> roasty studio off the back of our kitchen because uh-huh. we had nowhere else to go. Uh-huh. And you would come up, walking up the back, uh, yep. and knock on the door. And <laughs> I need coffee. <laughs> You'd come in and you see our operation, uh-huh. like, take over the... Oh, my gosh. You know, man. honestly, I thought that was the coolest thing ever, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and to see that and to continue, you know, like, now where you are, and yeah. it's just amazing. I mean, it yeah. just amazes me, you know, mm. the shop downtown and your clientele and, you know, and, and how you take care of people, too. I mean, I'm always encouraged. Here's what's something that you always said. I want to visit with every client that comes in. Yeah. I want to get to know them. I don't want to just say, here's a coffee, go. Because yeah. that's not what I'm about. I want to mm. visit my client to feel, because there's more than just a cup of coffee. And I really yeah. believe that. Yeah. You know, yeah. people, yeah. I mean, coffee like this. Yes. We build friendship. Yes. We encourage one another. Yes. Right? So the it's co- the relationship. That's right. The relationship is the whole thing. And that's, that's where, right. like, think about these, uh, like, and I don't, it's like, <clears throat> think about, the corporations or the businesses mm. that are looking at c- customers and clients mm-hmm. as if they're like just a thing to be taken right. from. Mm-hmm. What kind of relationship is that? Nothing. It's nothing. Mm-hmm. Who That client, that customer knows. That's right. These people don't care about me. Mm-hmm. They aren't looking out for the best of me. They're okay. trying to like trick me somehow. Yep. And to like know that we can do business. Mm-hmm. We can do our work. That's right. In Mm -hmm. ways that we take care of people Mm -hmm. and people know that all I'm trying to do Mm -hmm. is take care of the the folks who we are interacting with. Mm. And that relationship feels healthy. It feels whole. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's going to last, Mm -hmm. you know. And I know that that is in your mindset when you go and you do your work, that you're... You have in your mind mm-hmm. this very long view. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not looking at this month or this one sale mm-hmm. or this one person. Mm-hmm. That you have this perspective that is looking out for 40 years from now. That's like right. What What's this thing that That's I'm right. trying to make? Even above that, Eric. I mean, I think it's like a cup of coffee too. In terms of the way I look at it, is if I, you know, whatever, whatever, whenever I'm dealing with a client, I always ask myself, how would I want to be represented? If I was on the other, because the client has no idea. Mm. I do. Mm. This is what I do for a living. Mm-hmm. Right. So I want to be well represented. Mm-hmm. So in return, when I'm meeting with the client, whether they buy or don't buy, you know, or whether it takes a, a month to three years, mm-hmm. you know, before we arrive to that end, I want to make sure that they've made the right decision make sure that they found the best property for them. Wow. Or if it's selling the home, making sure that I've represented them well because that's how I would want to be represented, yeah. right? Because again, the people, and we yeah. are to take care of one another, like you said, you yeah. know, in the yeah. ways that we would want to be taken yeah. care of also. And be able to have that trust between people. Right. Like, they build sh- trust. Trust. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trust is so mm-hmm. essential. Mm-hmm. And I could see how in realty, it would be the the easy incentive is to just mm-hmm. get somebody into this house, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. get this client yep. into a house, yep. wrap it up, be mm-hmm. done with it. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. what happens? I mean, what happens when they get in that house and it was mm-hmm. not a right, wasn't the right fit, mm-hmm. or, or a, a, a lot of problems, right? Yeah. Because got to get them in. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you just threw them in a house and mm-hmm. you said, "Well, that's done." You know, mm-hmm. next client instead mm-hmm. of slowly. Mm-hmm guiding somebody through the process. That's right. It is needed to say, like, you got us into our house. Oh, you got us into our house. And you like it so far? Yeah, we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, man. Uh, yeah, because that was, I mean, uh-huh. that was 2018. We had never bought a home before. Mm-hmm. We had never, we thought that that whole thing was outside of our grasp mm-hmm. of even That's right. being possible. Mm-hmm. And... You made it happen. Man. That's right. With our good friend. Yes, James Perry. James Perry. James we Perry, won't forget man. him. We will I not mean, forget we will James not forget Perry. Him. James, Perry. <laughs> James Perry, man. Seriously. Yeah. And, and this is what I mean. Uh-huh. There are these people out there who, mm-hmm. like yourself, like James, like these people who, mm-hmm. what Truly the care. aim is to do mm-hmm. is to take care of people. That's right. 
right. to do the right thing, yeah. to bring people, you mm -hmm. know, and it's beautiful. That's right. And That's right. I think that when it comes down to it, mm -hmm. I think people hold on to their value. When it's, mm -hmm. when you have to choose, do you mm -hmm. want this? Do you want this stuff that's crappy and no value and mm. trick it like built on like falsehood? Or do you mm. want something that's good and true? Correct. I think people are going to go, well, I have to let go of something. Mm -hmm. You got to let go of something. People are like, I'm getting rid of the crap. I'm mm -hmm. holding on to what's good and right that's and right. true. That's right. And that is that's right. very encouraging that's right. to me. That's right. I'm like, I right. welcome the challenge. Mm -hmm. If that's what is, that's right. let's do it. Let's do it. That's right. <laughs> you know, and then Eric, I mean, I think... I've heard this before. Somebody said he said this, and I and I found it so true. People can tell a phony. Where I mean, people can just tell if you're phony or if you are real or not. And let's say take an example in our business because we again the the business the work that we do. Yeah. You know, we give a service in order to get a monetary, you know, return, right? Mm. But when the heat is on, you and I don't have to be worried mm. because. We have work, we have constantly worked on delivering excellence mm -hmm. or not go over, you know, quantity, but quality. Quality. Yeah. And because we are focused on that, we are focused on that, on that over the year. Yeah. That, I really believe, even if it's 90% of that quantity, mm -hmm. I mean, that qu quality will be back. When you do something well, people want to stick with you. People want to yes. because they believe in what you do. They see that you're not a phony. Yeah, you are. Uh, you you stick to your value. Yeah. you want to do it well, yeah. and you continue to craft your thing so that you can continue to deliver excellence. Yeah. I mean, that's what yeah. that's me, me and you. Yeah, I'm, but what's that? I said, I said, Eric, man, you're so good at what you do. Hmm. You passionate about it. You work at it. You you craft it like right now. You you know yeah, you, yeah. you 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 perfecting it hmm. as compared to somebody that says, "Well, there's money in coffee." Yeah. You know, if I buy a bag of coffee for twenty dollar or whatever or ten dollar, uh -huh. and then I can make a profit of, I don't know, fifty dollar. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. We're in. We're Let's in. Make the profit. That's right. And that's what I'm like. I, I believe in you 100%. Mm. And I believe in you, Romeo. <laughs> Cheer. It's getting cold. Yeah, man. We're going to have the rest yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. When you were telling me to, to you know, we were back when we were roasting out of the kitchen, mm -hmm. and you we were talking about maybe trying to build the spot downtown, and you would tell me, you're from Cameroon. Yep. And you would tell me, well, hey, back home, yep. they say, you, you, you meet none of the tree. Uh -huh. like, you meet none of the tree. That's right. But you have a building. They'll come. They'll come. Well, the say is that in Cameroon, that if you have a church that is under the tree, you'll have less people. Yeah. Or if you have a school that is under the tree, you'll have less people. Yeah. But the moment you build, you have a building, yeah. they'll say, okay, and he's finally serious. <laughs> <laughs> when we go in, <laughs> he's got a building. That was like I'm like, all right, I gotta get a building. He's, man. I gotta... he's invested in that. He's now invested. We're gonna come he's not you know? under the tree anymore, man. That was I was like, all right, I better get a building. But it's not. Did you find that to be true, Eric? Yes, one hundred percent. Right, one hundred percent. Because yeah. people people come in and they see, okay, this guy is serious about what he's doing. Like mm -hmm. he means it. And to go back to like when things get difficult, things get shaken up. Mm -hmm. We, as just the regular public, we want to grab a hold of the things mm -hmm. that we know we can count on. That's right. Because it's in the time the tree's getting shaken. And you're like, I got to grab a limb that's not going to crack. Mm -hmm. It's not going to break. Mm -hmm. I need to find something that I can, like, base something off of. Mm. And that's where I just want it. I want to encourage people who are doing any work, whether mm -hmm. it's in your hobby right. or whether it's in your full-time job, is like, do excellent work. That's right. It is more difficult. Mm -hmm. It is not as profitable. You won't be popular. You won't be popular. Sometimes. It's not, yeah, it, is, it is the more difficult path. But uh -huh. it, is the, uh -huh. it is the path, man. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. all the garbage is the first stuff to go. That's right. It's That's the right. first stuff yeah. to go. Even if it doesn't go, Eric, I mean, I would want to sleep at night yes. knowing that I did my very best. Yes. That's just me. I as mean, as good I, as I could. That's yeah, as good Excellent. as I could to the, my, you know, to the best of my knowledge, yeah. you know, and 
Yeah, if what if everybody did that with Eric? It would be beautiful, man. Yeah. Everything would be slower. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We'd be more measured in mm -hmm. our in our things yeah. that we try to accomplish. That's right. But things would last a lot longer. Correct. And maybe we wouldn't have to run everywhere, you know, all around yes. because we're trying yes. to do quantity, you know, quantity, quantity of uh, quality. Yeah. But oftentimes... It does feel like to get into those real popular spots or very powerful spots, yeah. you are having to let go of your values mm -hmm. along the way. Because mm -hmm. the second that I wasn't willing to let go of my values, there's just doors close, mm -hmm. paths end. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. for us, it meant we had to start our own, we just had to start our own thing. That's right. We had to start our own business. Like I want Think Well to be like a living, breathing organism that is holding people in it, that it's based around mm. harmony, based around care mm. and you know, doing, doing the right thing. That's right. You know, I was just thinking, you know, the things that we do, you know, back to excellence, you know, if sometimes we would sit and think, man, what I'm doing today, you know, we stand yeah. even here when I'm here and gone, maybe for a few years mm -hmm. that our kids would say, you know, they'll say this about our parents, about their parents, or say this, well, my dad, this, this are the things my dad stood for. Yeah. And he w did not believe in shortcut. Yeah. He believed in doing it well. And that was a success. And I want to be like that. Like that. You know? Yeah. Even if, and to go back to like, you know, it's not always the most popular. Mm -hmm. it, you know, you don't always, you aren't always welcomed with open arms. You're not always received. Mm -hmm. It isn't, you know. It's true. It's true. But it's kind of like, I will have less things. Mm -hmm. I will have less everything. Mm -hmm. uh, whether that's like tangible or not tangible, it will be less. But what I do have mm -hmm. is gold mm -hmm. to me. You know, it's the mm -hmm. most important stuff. The mm -hmm. relationships these are deep relationships with people who I know who they really are. They know who I really am. Mm -hmm. The community that we have, it's, it's real. Mm -hmm. And when somebody has needs, we're there for each other. That's right. And when we need to, to like be there for each other, we are truly there that's for right. each other. Mm. And that's gold, man. Mm -hmm. It's gold. Mm -hmm. I would rather have a relationship with a true person than a phony. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, hey, thanks for taking time. Thanks for having a cup. Thanks for having me over. <laughs> yeah, man. I always love having always. you. I always, I, you know, when I come to your shop or your house yeah. or you come yeah. to my house, yeah. it's always it's a great always time. It's always good, Romeo. You but... leave those relationships like, man, that, we had a good time just <laughs> hanging you know, out, hanging out, talking, drinking coffee, having a fire. Yes, you know, yeah, having man. a fire, eating dinner, just the kids running around. Yeah. It started yeah. with a cup of coffee, cup of Eric. Coffee. Remember that. Start with coffee. It finished with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Romeo. Well, we Thank you, Eric. Thank you. I hope we were very natural. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay. We're, we're like too comfortable. Too, you know? too comfortable, yeah. <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be, right?